we were telling you a little bit about uh, campaigning with Mike Pence today. Uh, none other than Ted Cruz, we are told at this event they were both at, though, that uh, Senator Cruz never once mentioned Donald Trump by name, even though he is supporting him. Uh, you know, look, if you're up there in the sump with the number two guy in the ticket, does it really matter? Let's ask former Bush 41 chief of staff, former Republican governor of that fine state, John Sununu. Governor, does that matter that he didn't, hasn't yet mentioned Donald Trump's name? Neil, you're going to see all kinds of uh, approaches by Republicans as they come back to the fold. I ran into a couple this week. Three days ago, the husband said, don't tell my wife I'm voting for Donald Trump. Uh, right after that, about a day and a half later, I, she came to me and said, don't tell my husband I'm voting for Donald Trump. Well, how were the so Bushes? She... How were the Bushes? Are they doing okay? <laughs> You're getting this surreptitious uh, movement, and I think that's indicative of what's happening out there. I, I, I really do think that you'll see a lot of Republicans who vote for Donald Trump, and nobody in their family may know it. You know, I, I actually think there's something to that. I think that's part of the, the underreporting that goes on here. Maybe pollsters are grappling with that as we speak. I don't know. But, you know, Governor, I'm curious. Uh, let's say Donald Trump does win. He, he pulls this out. Um, I've always wondered whether we would have more difficulty with Republicans than Democrats. What do you think? Uh, it's complicated enough that, yeah, that yeah. we need longer time here for an answer. But a, a president can move a Congress if he works with them really on a daily basis. I, I always use the example of George Herbert Walker Bush. Uh, got more legislation passed than any president except Johnson and, and Roosevelt, and he had a Congress 260 to 175 against him in the House and 55-45. It really depends on the hmm. president, Neil. You know, I, I, because I was thinking that with Jimmy Carter, Tip O'Neill, Jim Wright, those guys, they were not fans of his. In fact, uh, uh, later on when Ronald Reagan came in, Tip O'Neill had a much better relationship with that Republican president than he ever did with the Democratic one. But do we make but it too was big a deal of it? There. Yes, it that's was, just what I wanted. Go ahead. Yeah, it was personality, Neil. Ronald Reagan was was a likable person. Uh, President Carter was not. And and Ronald Reagan would sit down with Republican and Democratic leadership, and 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 he he knew enough to give a little here and give a little there. You know, he was always saying, "I want if I get ninety percent, that's fine." I, right. I, I'm not going to fight for 100. And then if you get 90% twice in a row on the same issue, you're up to 99%. And he worked it. He worked it hard. Indeed, indeed. Um, how's your state looking with your son running and everything else and Kelly out in a tight race? I mean, uh... it, it, I think the latest poll came out of a, a, a BU, uh, Boston University in Boston, had uh, Trump up by one. Uh, it had Kelly and uh, uh, my son Christopher, both up by around three. Uh, hmm. So we'll see what happens. Look, I, at this stage, it, we go back to where we started, though. You really don't know who's voting for whom, and the pollsters really, in my opinion, don't have much of an idea. So you keep your fingers crossed and you go into the election. I, I, I suspect you're right. Governor, thank you very, very much. Good seeing you. Thank you.